In this video, I want to take a basic look at interlocking halftones based on the clown separation in this Inkseps tutorial on YouTube. Working in CorelDRAW with Simple Seps version 5.5.1. Now, this is a free update for Simple Seps, and we've updated the Inkseps to work with and identify the custom colors that can come out of Inkseps. Inkseps is not part of simple steps. This importer is just put in simple steps so we can work with the ink steps color separations in CorelDRAW with simple steps more easily. I'm going to go to the ink steps tab. I'll come down here to search. Then I'll select my downloaded zip file of the clown and I'll open that. Then I'll click on import color separations. Now once that's imported, I'll have my monochromes page. Here you can see a black monochrome, and we can do some analysis here. And we can see that none of our colors are blending. So none of those are going to need to interlock, except for the black, because we don't want the black dots to step on the color. Here we have the original. And we can compare those, and they're absolutely accurate. I'm going to change the size of this go to about maybe 10 or 11 inches wide and then I'll go to I'll click off here I'll go to color management automatically create a color palette select all of the colors and one click conversion now all of the colors in my monochromes have been converted to Pantone colors they're a little bit different than the actual colors and you could use the Pantone for your printing if you preferred. Once that's done, I can go to color separations and I can go with the Pantone colors if I want to. But I'll go here and I'll rename this to orange dash yellow. This will be red dash rose. I'm just naming these so I know what they are. This will be the Azure dash cyan. And then I'll change the Pantone hexachrome black. Backspace that all the way and change that to black. I'm gonna select a white base, that'll be tinted. I'll choke that two pixels. And come down to the black and I'm going to interlock that. If I wanted to set dot gain, I could if I had taken those measures or measured my dot gain. And we've got an LPI 55 for all. Once all of this is set up, I've got my interlocking on the black. The other colors aren't blending. I don't have to interlock them. If I was creating the orangish yellow in the face with red and yellow, I would interlock one of the colors, not both of them. You always interlock one. If I'm doing a three-way color blend, let's say it's magenta, red, and yellow, I would interlock the red because it's going to go into the magenta and the yellow. So that's your interlocking strategy in its basic form. Once all of this is set, I'm going to go to Generate Separations, and Simple Seps will generate my halftone separations in CorelDRAW, and we can take a look at the interlocking halftones. Just come down here and click on Generate Separations and let Simple Steps process my Ink Steps color separations directly in CorelDRAW. Once my color separations have finished processing, this is my halftone preview. Now this doesn't look very good and the halftones don't look very good because they're one bit images in CorelDRAW and Corel doesn't render them very well. In fact, most of the graphics applications don't render one bit images very well. But half toning is done as one bit, just black and white. That's it. Now, if we zoom in here in the cheek area, we can see the interlocking half tones. The black is kind of wrapped around the round orange here, or actually the orange yellow, and the same with the red. A little different than printing flamenco which is dot on dot but if I had printed 
without the interlocking, then my black halftones would be printing on top of my color, and I don't want that. That would make my printing inaccurate. And from here, I can just go to Bitmap Halftone Preview. Now, this is a halftone image turned into an RGB, so it doesn't look like a real bitmap, but it gives us a good idea of what we're going to get on press and how accurate that's going to be. Now, I can left-click, right-click one time, duplicate this over here, go to the original, and see how close my separations are. And I'll zoom in over here. Now, of course, the color's a little bit different because of the Pantone, but you could change that or just do that with your color matching with your ink. So that's why we want to be into the interlocking halftones so that we can print simulated process with less colors. So the colors aren't stepping on color. And that's the purpose of interlocking, so that halftone dots are not stepping on halftone dots. And we can print with less colors and get very accurate results. And for more information and details on interlocking, you can go to inksteps.com, come over here to articles. If we go down the page, we have two articles, halftone screen printing and ink coverage. We cover some things on interlocking there. Very important information. We also have the secret of simulated process printing and interlocking halftones. So there's two detailed articles that will spell all of this out for you right here on the articles on the Inksteps website. We'll go ahead and wrap here. That's just the foundation of interlocking. Get more information in the articles on our website. Like I said, we'll wrap here and we'll see you in our next video.